everybody and welcome back and in this video we're going to demonstrate a radial head HVT or HVLA uh, manipulation adjustment. So what this entails is in testing is we would pronate and supinate the wrists in isolation. We would check one versus the other in relation to the patient and we may have a supination or a pronation restriction. We would check all the soft tissues involved and if we have a hard end range within the anatomical range we could be potentially looking at the radial head at the uppermost aspect of the forearm. So what this looks like on a skeleton is we have a rotation, so this is our pronation and our supination of the most lateral bone on the upper part or the forearm and this is on the upper part of the forearm. So if we had a restriction with pronation it gets a little bit restricted as the arm rotates in and if it's restriction in external rotation or supination it's as the bone rotates outwards. Now as a practitioner when we palpate we would find these landmarks here. We move distal and towards the ulna and then we can use our thumb off the border of the superior aspect of the radius and to me it reminds me of a golf tee. So if we're on the edge of the golf tee we place our thumb and we rotate and we can find that bone sticking usually in the rotational movement or what can happen is as it rotates around it can wobble as it rotates around and cause some of that restriction. So what we're going to show next is the HVT or HVLA in relation to the supination or the pronation HVT for that restriction. So now that we have a live patient instead of the skeletal model we're going to use the same anatomical landmarks lateral medial here and the fossa here so with our thumb we're going to move down and towards the wrist to find the border of the radial head and all we do is we rotate through the wrist to find that radial head rotating underneath our thumb and then if it's a pronation restriction if we find the restriction underneath our thumb we would articulate through we never lock the elbow out 100% but we're looking for about an approximate 90% lock so what we do is we articulate through press with our thumb once we find that restrictive barrier it's a quick flick of the wrist with a thrust through the thumb to HVT. What we need to do from the opposite side if it's a supination restriction or an external rotation restriction we can clasp the hand underneath our axilla overlap our thumbs so our thumbs would be placed so we'll just show from this angle our thumbs would be placed here 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 and what we do is we would rotate externally and as we find the restriction without overlocking the elbow we would thrust laterally so we thrust in this direction so there we have it right, guys we have a restriction HVT for a supination and pronation of the uh, radial ulnar joint and uh, we hope you like the video if you have any more specific videos you'd like to see give us a private message and we do what we can and if you like what you see hit like and subscribe and try and follow the channel thanks again for watching guys see ya bye bye